Welcome back everyone. This is the evening update on Hurricane Lee. So let's take a look at the latest advisory on Hurricane Lee. Uh, you can see now it's uh, 80 miles per hour, category one, category one on the Saffir Simpson scale. So still a hurricane, even though projected to weaken below hurricane strength over the next uh, few hours before ultimately moving uh, into the Canadian Maritimes uh, tomorrow and Sunday. Moving north now at 20 miles per hour, so it's really picking up forward speed as it's starting to accelerate uh, northward here. But its status as a hurricane or a tropical storm is really not important. The story I want you to focus on is the size of this system, which is uh, shown here in this orange. So this orange area is the extent of tropical storm force winds, or you can sort of think of them as damaging winds, if that's easier for you. You can just see how big it is. I mean, to give you a reference, it's bigger than the state of Maine. That's just how big it is. And this is going to move northward. If you should sort of project these winds northward, you can see how it's going to spread over a large area of the northeastern states. Uh, tonight and tomorrow, especially early tomorrow. In the blue area here, the blue area on the map is a tropical storm warning. Now, what is a tropical storm warning? That means that tropical storm conditions are expected. The key phrase there is expected. Not possible, but expected. So, for those of you in this blue area, so it's eastern Massachusetts, coastal New Hampshire, and a good two-thirds of the eastern half of Maine, that means that you need to be taking precautions the, the rest of the day to, to weather tropical storm force conditions. So make sure you got your supplies, get everything you need, you know, get home uh, tonight and then stay there, ride this out, and then wait for these conditions to pass uh, during the day tomorrow before venturing out. Not expecting a big storm surge event in the terms of life-threatening storm surge, but be careful with the overnight uh, high tide Friday night and again the second high tide during the day uh, tomorrow. Not a good time to be uh, in and around near the water, uh, driving near the water. So the basic the take home message for you is um, later tonight and early tomorrow, good, good time to be staying home if you're in this tropical storm warning area. Now, before I leave you, I want to take a step back and show you these, the rip current risk that we've been talking about all along. It's going to be really easy to tune out of this, tune out with this storm, especially along the east coast here. But I want you to see this high rip current risk, which is red, basically extending from south of Florida all the way along the eastern seaboard. So what is a rip current? This is where the waves from this big hurricane uh, produce a, a current that goes out to sea and will pull you out to sea. So if you're going to go to the beach this weekend, swim near a lifeguard. Let me say that again. If you're going to go to the beach this weekend, swim near a lifeguard. These uh, rip currents are, are impossible to spot and see, so you need to be in a place where you could be uh, get assistance or be rescued if an emergency ensues. That's it for us tonight. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with another update, and as always, you can get the latest information from hurricanes.gov.